In this video, we will be talking about what is pictograph and how do we represent this pictograph. Before going into the details of the pictograph, let's look at uh, about this table. What actually is this table all about? The first column in this table is saying days, days of the week. The next one talks about number of absentees. And here one more information is given that this picture actually represents one absentee. So, so as to get the information like this, let's say the day is a Monday. So that means if I count this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that means there were 5 absentees on Monday. Let's look about Tuesday. 1, 2, 3, 4. So there were 4 absentees on Tuesday. So basically it's trying to give information that in a particular week, how many number of absentees in a class would be there on a particular day. So let's uh, go about now the what information we are trying to extract out of it. The table below shows the number of absentees in a class of 30 students during a previous week. On which day the maximum number of students are absent. So looking about this table we can clearly say that on Saturday the maximum number of students were absent. Which day has full attendance? Now if you see this picture, this picture actually represents number of absentees. That means on the day when we do not have this picture actually has a full attendance. So that means on Thursday we had a full attendance. What was the total number of absentees in that week? So that means we have to count for each day how many were absent, add them together and find out what are the total number of absentees in that week. So this were Monday, it was 5, Tuesday it was 4, Wednesday 2, Thursday no absentees, Friday 1 and Saturday 8. So if we count this 8 to 10 and 10 to 20. So actually in the previous week there were 20 students who were absent. So if you see from this whole table, this table itself gives us the information in a pictorial form that we are talking about the days of the week and the number of absentees in that week. So what is now a pictograph? A pictograph represents data through pictures of the objects. It helps us answer the question on the data at the glance. So you are able to actually answer all your questions of the data at one single glance and the data actually are not represented by the tallies but they are represented through an objects. So let's look about the one more example on this. The number of girl students in each class of a co-educational middle school is depicted by the pictograph. Observe this pictograph and we will try to answer the following questions. If you see here, we have the first column representing the classes 1 to 8. The next one represents the number of girl students in each class. There is one more information that each picture represents 4 girls. That means if I talk about class 1, class 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, five six six pictures are there each picture represents four girls so that means it is six into four we are talking about 24 girls in class one so this is how we have to proceed with this problem now let's look at out what exactly we are trying to extract the information which class has minimum number of girl students from the picture itself it shows that the picture are least in class 8. But how do we actually extract the information? Because if you see here, one complete symbol and one half symbol is there. In such type of problems, what we have to do is, we have to see what one complete symbol represents. One complete object represents four girls. That means half represent. That is 
two girls so here in class 8th we have two girls so what is the next one is the number of girls in class 6th less than the number of girls in class 5th so let's see how many girls are there in class 6th class 6th 1 2 3 4 4 into 6 or uh, 4 into 4 16 girls class 5th 1 2 and 1 half so it this is actually 2 and 1 half that is 2 fours are 8 plus half means 2 that gives me 10 girls now is the number of girls in class 6 less than the number of girls in class 5 so the answer is here no class 6 has 16 girls class 5 has 10 girls how many girls are there in class 7 1 2 3 object represent four girls so 3 into 4 that is 12 girls so this is how we have to proceed with these kind of problems where we have number of objects not equal to same mapping of the number of girls or the number of whatever items let's look at about one more problem what is the problem the following are the details of a number of students present in a class of 30 during a week we have to represent it by a pictograph if you see here the number of students that are a huge number it's like 24 26 28 30 if we try and represent one student by an object i mean like a pictograph like this then it may require 24 different such objects to be represented which would be little cumbersome to make the thing simple let's take that one if i say like this it may represent a 2 or a 3 or 4 or 5 it depends upon us what do we assume let's assume here that one is represented by this one student if i have something like this it means three students if i have something like this it means two students if i have something like this it means five students and so on if i have something like this it represents four students so this is how i have started the started looking at the problem now what exactly it says it says that on monday 24 students were there 24 students that means how do i how do i actually represent uh, the the whole whole number of students 24 means i have to actually this this is what is my 25 so that means i have to represent complete five objects four objects to make it 20 so 1 2 3 four so complete four objects five fours are 20 and now i have to represent four more students this i can say as 20 plus 4 so i have represent this 20 as complete so here i am saying that the whole object of this actually it represents five students so i am drawing here four complete objects and four more so i am drawing one more half object let's look about the next one on tuesday 26 students were there to represent 26 i can say here 25 plus 1 that means i have to draw five complete objects let's draw that first i 
and one more a half object. I am representing one by this, so I have just put a circle here. On Wednesday, there were 28, so this will again become 25 plus 3. So let's represent 5 more complete objects. And 3, 3 I am representing by this. On Thursday, there were 30 students, which the, that means the whole attendance or complete attendance was present. So we'll represent this as 30 itself with 6 complete objects. On Friday, 29, that means 25 plus 4. we are representing by this and on Saturday it was 22 so 20 plus 2 so 4 complete objects and 2 we are representing by circle and a line the whole funda here or the whole method here is we have to group a number to an object or we have to map a number to an object for big numbers. We cannot say that okay one, one to one mapping means one object is one number of students which would be cumbersome for us to go on drawing that object. So once we have to group and then we have to make our own assumptions saying whichever are like uh, between that group. Let's say if this number is there, if this number is, I have already said that the one object represents five number. So when I am saying that if I have to represent 24 or 26, I have to actually divide that object. So we assume that and we try to draw the pictograph based on this. This is all about pictograph. Now one more example on pictograph. What is this? The following are the number of electric bulbs purchased for a lodging house during the first four months of a year. Represent it with a pictograph. Now these bulbs we have to represent. So let's say I have here a 20, 26, 30 and 34. Let's say I represent the whole bulb. The whole bulb with five bulbs. That means this act one whole bulb object represents five bulbs. So that means in a January I need five fours or twenty. So that means I have to draw four different such objects. In February it was 26, so 26 is 25 plus 1, so that means let's completely draw, bear with my drawings. And 1, so 1 to represent 1, I may represent it by a line or by two lines it's up to my assumption but that assumption I have to make it clear let's say I'm represent this by one line oh sorry two lines this is 30 so it can be directly given as 6 objects so 6 complete objects I have to draw
and in april it is 34 that is 30 plus 4 so i may represent it by this as six complete objects and one partial one Five, six, and one partial one. So this is how we actually represent a it with a pictograph. The pictograph representation is time consuming and at times difficult also. Yeah, it's true. If you see here, we have to actually draw an objects for each one. in the previous method we had the tally which was like quite easy but the main problem with the tally was it was not able to give the information of what exactly are we talking about here by seeing the objects like a person or a watch or a bulbs or a face you can actually say what object are we talking about what information we are trying to get from it so we have to find an alternate solution for it which would be taken in the next consecutive lecture thank you